a foiled bank robbery. In April 2016, two would-be robbers paid a visit to a Banco do Brasil branch in Praia Grande, Brazil. Their choice of disguise was far from ordinary. Instead of the typical balaclava with eye and mouth cutoffs, these suspects opted for shiny head-to-toe foil suits. Police in the city of Santa Catarina say the suspects were most likely trying to move around the bank undetected by its alarm system. The intention behind these outfits was to outsmart the bank's alarm system, which surprisingly didn't detect them. However, their metallic cloaks failed to grant them invisibility as the bank's surveillance cameras recorded their every move. Police officers rushed to the bank when the robbers were seen through a CCTV monitoring system. Security staff noticed the criminals on the tape and swiftly called the authorities. Although the two managed to escape before police arrived, their efforts to break the bank's safe appeared to have been in vain. Police say they left empty-handed. Abduction of Carlicia Freeland Gaither on a quiet Sunday night in November 2014, Carlicia Freeland Gaither was walking down a nearly desolate Philadelphia street when she was suddenly grabbed by Delvin Barnes. 22-year-old Carlicia Freeland Gaither survived this vicious abduction and nearly 72 hours with her captor. Security cameras had recorded Barnes' car pulling up just moments before the kidnapping. In the harrowing footage, Freeland Gaither puts up a fight as she screams, kicks, and even smashes the car windows in a desperate bid to escape. Despite her efforts, she's ultimately forced in and driven away. The nursing assistant was just blocks from home when she was snatched Sunday night in North Philadelphia. Fortunately, this story has a happy ending. Thanks to tips from the public, authorities identified Barnes and tracked his car to Maryland. Federal authorities tracked him to this strip mall in Jessup, Maryland. ATF agents spotted them together inside his Ford Taurus and moved in. Three days after her abduction off the street, Freeland Gaither was rescued by police and Barnes was arrested at the scene. Kidnapping of Carly Brucia. This surveillance footage recorded at a car wash in Sarasota, Florida, shows a girl being approached by a man who then takes her by the arm and leads her away. Tragically, this was the last time she was seen alive. Carly Brucia vanished February 1st, 2004, never making it home from a sleepover at a friend's house. The girl in question, Carly Brucia, had been walking home on February 1st, 2004, when Joseph P. Smith, captured on camera, abducted her and ultimately ended her life. The widely televised security tape prompted calls from the public, which identified the abductor. Shown on local and national television, the video brings hundreds of leads. Surely someone would recognize the man on the grainy tape. And they do. Smith was already in police custody for probation violations when he confessed to the crime and led police to her body. He was subsequently convicted of first-degree murder and later passed away while awaiting execution. The Attorney General notified State Attorney Ed Brodsky that Joseph Smith died. His office says the cause of death is unknown. Florida student beats up teacher. A student at the Matanzas High School in Palm Coast, Florida, took matters into his own hands after his teacher confiscated his Nintendo Switch video game. The deputies say that when the teacher's aide took away his Nintendo Switch, he literally sent her flying through the air. As the staffer walked out onto the common area, the boy ran after her, launching her into the air and knocking her unconscious. He then proceeded to physically assault her before a group of school employees managed to subdue him. Unfortunately, uh, other students and other faculty members, uh, administrators came and intervened. Surveillance of this shocking incident, which occurred on February 21st, 2023, made its way to the public and was widely circulated. This could have been a homicide. Uh, when you push people down like that, they hit their head. You never know the outcome. Initially, the student was arraigned in juvenile court due to his age, but he was later transferred to the adult system, facing a possible 30-year sentence for aggravated battery. Abduction of Leo Norvell. On November 12, 2021, an Amber Alert was issued in the state of California after the abduction of Leo Norvell by a man named Joshua Yago. Yago had reportedly carried out a shooting in the Sacramento area, resulting in minor injuries to a man and a woman. Subsequently, he chased after the woman and forcibly snatched her child, Leo Norvell, out of her arms. The distressing incident played out in full view of a home security camera. Fortunately, a couple of hours after the Amber Alert was issued, the boy was found with the suspect unharmed. Yago was swiftly arrested by police and faced charges related to both the kidnapping and shooting. He would be caught hours later. An unprovoked attack on the Miami Metro. September 4th, 2020 is a date that'll probably be forever etched in the memory of Andrea Puerta. My life changed is, uh, completely. While riding the Miami Metro, Puerta endured a horrifying attack by a man whom she had never seen before. The onslaught was random and unprovoked and left Puerta unconscious, with a concussion, broken rib, and severe bruising. Despite initially losing consciousness, Puerta summoned the strength to get off the train and call the police. Andrea no longer uses public transportation, no longer goes out at night. Every day I cry, but I 
need to be strong. Her attacker, Joshua James King, reportedly assaulted two other people that same day before he was apprehended and charged with three counts of aggravated battery. Watching this ordeal is harrowing enough and one can only imagine how agonizing it must have been to experience it. I want that everybody know his face and I, and I want that my eyes be shiny again. Brazen thief breaks into cars. Robert is Here is a popular fruit stand in Homestead, Florida that attracts hundreds of tourists and locals every day. I work really hard and I want my family to work really hard and still have fun. My aim is to be the best farm market ever on the planet, and I'm not far from it. Over the years, Robert Moling, the owner of the facility, has seen his fair share of great and not so great patrons. In a bid to enhance security, Moling installed surveillance cameras on the premises. Fed up with the crime, Robert and his staff invested in a security system with cameras all over the property. In May of 2018, these cameras recorded a man breaking into customers' cars in broad daylight and stealing their valuables. The suspect appeared to have an accomplice who drove him to and from the scene of the crime. You can see a red Dodge Caravan making its way around the storefront. At times, a man in a gray hooded sweatshirt gets out and can be seen looking into cars and checking door handles. Although the footage was released to the public, it remains uncertain if law enforcement managed to identify the culprits. Abduction of James Bolger At first glance, it may look like two brothers taking a casual stroll in the mall. But this grainy footage from February 12, 1993 actually depicts a crime. All the shopping precinct is covered by CCTV. And I think some of the iconic pictures were of Thompson Venables holding James's hand, walking away. The toddler is James Bolger, who was at a shopping center in Poodle, England, with his mother when he was abducted by two preteen boys. Robert Thompson and John Venables can be seen in the footage leading Bolger out of the mall, with Thompson holding his hand. Clearly, you could see James hand in hand with, with, with two other boys um, being led away. Subsequently, they took him on a long walk to Walton, Liverpool, where they subjected him to horrible treatment and left him for dead. In November that year, they were found guilty of killing Bulger, becoming the youngest convicted murderers in modern British history. I remember the judge at the end of it, he said, you will both save very, very many years in prison. And I was, I was pleased with that outcome. A toxic Florida man. For one Florida household, a series of minor neighborly disputes quickly transformed into a conflict with potentially lethal consequences. When Umar Abdullah and his family began noticing an unusual odor in their home, they installed a private security camera to help find an explanation. Umar Abdullah says it's very difficult to talk about the last few months. He says it started with complaints from a downstairs neighbor over noise. Video evidence revealed that their neighbor, Zooming Lee, had been administering dangerous chemicals through the doorway. I installed a hidden camera outside because we were suspecting someone is basically tampering our place from outside. And then we caught our neighbor injecting something through our door. The chilling footage was enough to have Lee arrested on controlled substance possession and battery charges, but it more importantly may have saved this family's life. Lee, a chemistry student at the University of South Florida, has been removed from his PhD program and awaits legal consequences. Lee was arrested and charged with multiple counts, including possession of a controlled substance and aggravated stalking. Regardless of the outcome, this unsettling story of DIY surveillance is one the Abdullahs are unlikely to forget. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Murder of Mary Kay Wolfarth With the disturbing case of Mary Kay Wolfarth, a routine Ohio storage unit became the setting of a grisly murder. Wolfarth's body was discovered in the facility shortly after her disappearance, and the surveillance footage helped lead authorities to the perpetrator. The camera recorded Michael Olson and a casual acquaintance of Wolfarth, apparently stalking his victim while she organized her personal depot. Wolfarth's body discovered in a storage unit in Akron, rented by Olson. Though her life was not taken on camera, the videotape provided evidence that helped find and prosecute Olson. There was substantial evidence in this case that this was a premeditated uh, murder. There is video that showed him stalking her right before the murder happened. After a harrowing guilty plea, Olson received a life sentence with no potential for parole. When you consider the tragic outcome to such a devastating circumstance, re-watching this video evidence retrospectively feels even more horrifying. Which of these horrifying crimes left your jaw on the floor? Let us know in the comments. This new video of a pharmacy on P in Piedmont Avenue being ransacked. 